She's back. Gentlemen, this is Tokyo Takamo live stream. Ha, and with me, we have a fantastic array of guests. And we just started off with a terrifying, terrifying trailer of Resident Evil 7's talk of、That's、the、right. entire show. I must even say for myself. So, thank you very much for coming up on stage, Kyoka, Choco Blanca, and、Hi. James Vance, the producer of Resident Evil series, Resident Evil 7 as well.、Yeah. Thank you very much for coming. Can we have a little introduction from you guys? Sure, I guess I'll start with myself then.、Uh, James Vance、uh, from Capcom,、uh, producer on Resident Evil 7 and a bunch of Resident Evil titles in the past,、uh, working out of Tokyo. So happy to be back again. The band is back together. Yeah! Again. Great to be here. Woo! Yay! Woo hoo! Hey guys! Hey everyone! Woo! How's <laughs> people? I totally heard that. <laughs> Hi, I am the otaku reporter of the Tokyo Otaku Mode YouTube channel, and it's me, Kyoka, back here live from the Tokyo Otaku Mode booth. Woo! And we're back! The team is back, everyone! Yeah! Hoo, 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 hoo. These three right here actually did a、uh, fantastic job with、uh, doing a five nights all together of、uh, streaming. Uh, Biohazard、That's、series, right,、yeah. the Resident Evil series、uh, at Tokyo Otaku Mode headquarters. And、right. it was just an absolute blast to have you guys. And now we're on live streaming right here. <laughs> That's right, and、yeah. we're on the most recent Resident Evil. Hey, that is the top. We have one more member, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our, <laughs> our very own. Timing <laughs>、uh, music. <laughs> hey, guys, this is Choco Blanca. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Thank you very much, Choco Blanca. In a way, I feel like I'm the guest right here because I'm in intruding into your live show right here. What are you talking about? Everyone's a part of the army. Come on in. So, 
the very own Capcom has actually been able to come up on our show. Just for a very short time, we're actually going to introduce you guys some interesting footage from Resident Evil 7 that we have over at the Capcom booth, which we'd like to go ahead and introduce to you guys right here. If we can do a rapid succession sure. um, from James as well. Sure, yeah. So, uh, so we actually have the slideshow right here ready, so if we now. can get that up on the screen. Okay, so yeah, so we have a huge booth here at uh, TGS, which is based upon the mansion. That's right, uh, yeah. That, the plantation mansion that appears in Red Dead Evil 7, as you might be familiar with if you played the free uh, demo that's on PlayStation Network right now. Right, uh, right. It's a really cool booth, really creepy. Very uh, creepy. We got the uh, old man who knocks you out in the demo. Mm -hmm. uh, they are a really good uh, recreation of him there, so you can take some nice photo shots together with him. Uh, and yeah. we're doing, um, you know, the standard PlayStation 4 version. Uh, we have about uh, 35 units there. 35 units, Yeah, wow. and also, uh, of course, PlayStation VR, because you can play through all of Resident Evil 7 or Biohazard 7 in VR. Fantastic. Um, VR sells out, or the tickets go out in about uh, 10 seconds in the morning, <laughs> and uh, PlayStation 4 is about one minute. So uh, if you're interested in playing, get your ass over to the booth <laughs> right away and get yourself a ticket, otherwise you're out of luck, yeah. You should definitely go. I just got a chance to go over there, and like the set was amazing. You know the last episode at, on YouTube when we played the demo and stuff? It's, it's literally that, so definitely go. Like, hardcore fans, definitely. We also got the uh, shooting around. That's Shoot right, yeah, we've had this for, uh, I think, the past yeah. three years now. There's a, a company called Tokyo Marui. They make a lot of uh, air gun replications. That's right. Lots that's of right. Bio, uh, Resident Evil themed guns yeah. as well, and it's really popular. You know, it's just fun to go in there and shoot off a couple rounds. And so. it's funny to see that uh, two days back when uh -huh. it was on Thursday, we actually asked started at TGS uh -huh. officially with the business days where it wasn't open for the public but I already saw a huge line. I was wondering where these guys all came from yeah. to line up for Resident Evil 7. Yeah, that's true. That's right. Yeah, there are a ton of people there so yeah, it's great. It's great to see so many people excited about the title. Uh, it's at the Sony booth as well. It's at another VR booth behind us here and there's a line everywhere you go so we couldn't be happier. And we already have an entire mansion built in the other hole right that's now. That's right, yeah. yeah. That's what I was saying. So yeah, the booth here, I think you got pictures of here. This is the inside there. Oh, this is actually the inside. I thought this yeah. was part of the game. Yeah, no, this is, this is the inside. But it's based on the game. They did a very yeah, good course. job of recreating wow. that's uh, you know, what the game looks like uh, when you go in there. So you get that whole right uh, realistic experience when oh, you go so check you actually out the get booth. to play the game inside the house that you guys That's right, exactly, well. yeah. Uh, talk yeah. about immersion. Exactly. <laughs> You are in the game. Yes, That's you correct. are definitely in yeah. the game. So uh, please go ahead and tell us a little bit about this game, which is everyone is uh, excited to know. Yeah, about. so uh, Resident Evil 7 is, of course, the latest Resident Evil. Uh, we're running on a very high spec. It's uh, 1080p, 60 frames a second. Mm -hmm. um, FPS, it's a little different than uh, what you had before, but it uh, maintains a lot of the core themes uh, that everyone knows and loves about Resident Evil, which I'll go into a little bit later. Uh, and we have a special demo here at TGS. Uh, which we call Lantern, Lantern. Uh, which you'll find out why it's called Lantern in a second. But this demo focuses on the fear of being chased. Wow. Uh, which I think the two lovely ladies over here are really going to enjoy. All right, then. Yeah. Well, I guess um, we should go ahead and start that play. Because yeah, who's going to play first? Who's going to play first? I think a lot of the viewers want to see how the game is first before they see a new get very scared. So why don't yeah, we have yeah, Choco yeah. play first? Okay, oh, how about, yeah. yeah. Me? Okay. Right. Yeah. Let's go for it. Because I know I saw you, Kyoka, completely terrified of playing the uh, first demo. Yeah, yeah actually. Oh. It, was, it was cut from our last stream, but uh, we actually had to cut out oh. for a bit so she could cool down. It was too overwhelming. <laughs> no, don't listen to them. <laughs> I already suck, okay? Yeah, you're starting the game. Yeah, so this is part of the game here. So uh, you're actually watching a tape okay. of something that happened to, at a different time. Uh, you kind of jump Ooh. around in the timeline within the game. So you, you see this kind of a tape-like effect here. It's all kind of wobbly, and the screen is all uh, kind of distorted because uh, you're looking through a, like, you know, a classic VHS tape. Oh, is this new demo? This is new, yeah. Wow. So, uh, as you'll see in a second, your job is to get away. This old lady here is chasing after you. So this is entirely new. This is only for TGS right now. Okay. That's correct, yeah. Uh, so we actually showed this first uh, behind closed doors uh, two months ago. In, uh, in Germany for Gamescom. Okay. There's a huge game show over in Europe. Uh, but the Tokyo uh, uh, TGS is the first time that uh, everyone can play it. It's also Whoa. the first time that people can play it in VR. Right. What? What? Whoa. What? What? Can't go that way. What's that people? What? 
うわすごいバイオハザード7ニューデモをプレイさせていただいておりますがわお全然見たことがないえー、どこ行こう<笑> ?We get to see Choco get scared! Yay! 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 Is going into a completely different direction. A lot of people were surprised to see a completely different view change of the Resident Evil series. How is this actually going to affect the serialization and the future games for Resident Evil? Right, well,、uh, of course, I can't speak、uh, too far into the course, distant future, but yeah, this marks a new page for the, the franchise.、Um, And it basically comes from the idea that we want to take the game and focus a lot on horror. Right, the horror things.、Uh, obviously, no, 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 you're doing a top n o t shot of that. No, 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 no. You can see the expression. What's h a p p e n You've been a bad girl. You've been a bad girl. Oh, wow. So, for the modern. Oh, you failed. Yeah, was... you failed. But you get, you get another chance right away. So scared.、Uh, So, as you noticed,、uh, <laughs> running away is not really an option, so your main key to success is to not be found. Uh, uh, so, uh, for example,、uh, pushing in the right、uh, analog stick, you can crouch. So, crouch? Look,、oh. yeah, look for areas oh, that you oh, can oh. hide. Hide and seek! That's right, it's hide and seek, basically,、oh. yes. So, this is just、ah, one,、cool. uh, one type of gameplay within the entire game.、Oh. Uh, Resident Evil 7 is a very big game. Uh, and this is just a tiny slice of the type of、uh, gameplay that you can experience. And、uh, of course,、uh, one of the biggest elements in this like, is that it's、stuff? a first person view、right. at all times. Right, so that's what I was going to say, because we're, because we're focusing on horror、that's、for the right, modern、yeah. gamer、uh, who are very used to、uh, first person experience. It's a perfect match for horror. Absolutely.、Uh, instead of something happening to a character on the screen, it happens to you. This is a complete、yeah. first hand experience. Well, exactly, exactly.、Um, That's the key. Whereas the key you actually had a protagonist in front of you who was experiencing it for you. Exactly, exactly.、Uh, another key, key component, too, is that、uh, this game is running on、uh, an engine that we developed ourselves called the RE engine. Oh, wow.、Uh, easy to understand there. And it focuses on、uh, two things very high performance. Another was photorealism. Right, right.、Uh, so there's a filter on the screen now because you look at the videotape. Uh, but actually, when you see the game through like, the kind of normal lens,、uh, everything looks very real,、yeah. very photorealistic.、Uh, we use、uh, something called phototelemetry or photogrammetry.、Wow. We have about like,、oh, 180、man. cameras in a circle, and you put like, a real world object like this bottle or something, and you take a photograph、oh. of it. It takes like, the photo information and depth information, all these things. And then we can put it in the game and make it look very realistic. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and,、uh, oh, I don't think you want to go in there. Oh, you don't, don't want to go in there. <laughs> try, try going the other way. I don't want to. You better. See, there's a key component to most video games is that、uh, when the people design the video game, they'll always give you a hint about where to go. And so you can kind of look for、uh, some specific colorings and things like that. No. Now's not the time for that. Oh, you better get, go on the porch. Go on the porch. There you go. And also, I believe this is part of the、uh, progress of making this more immersive for players.、So、there's very little、uh, in terms of description on the screen. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, keeping a, a minimalistic UI. Yeah, I would hide there. I would hide there. Hide, hide, hide. No, no, no. You can't, you can't go in the garbage can. Oh, you found a stone statue. That's, that's for the sequel. <laughs> Resident Evil, the garbage can. Okay. Oh. She is. Oh no. <laughs> You're standing in front of the window. You don't want to stand in front of the window. Oh, okay. Let's try that. We're going to try on many patterns. So at this point, we still have very little information、uh-huh. on the actual protagonist. Like, the that's correct. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. can we get a little bit of a、cool. backstory as much as possible? Okay, okay now try, try to get a So, all we're saying right now、yeah. is that the protagonist's、okay, name is Ethan. That way. That way.、Uh, that way. That and he's、go. found、way? his way here yeah, to this uh, oh, uh, southern plantation,、okay. plantation okay. Louisiana. Um, for a certain reason, but we can't really tell you anymore. Of course, of course. But actually, in this demo, you're a woman. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, so, so it's, a, it's a different person. So, in a way, there might be a few protagonists that come into the story. Yeah, I can't really say anything more, but、uh, as, you, as much as I can say, right now there is a man and there is a woman. So,、uh, there may be more,、uh, that may be it. I can't really say. I can't really say. I can't really say. So, you see why the demo is called Lantern now? I can't really say. Oh, no, no. 
Now go to the other side. Go to the other side. Quick, quick, quick. Go, go to the other side. Other side. Other side. Other side. Other side. Straight, straight, straight. Now crouch, crouch, crouch. Crouch, crouch, crouch. You gotta crouch. You gotta crouch. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. 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 Now look. You can look through the window. Looking through the window. Back. Okay. See the window. Looking through the window. Okay. Through the window. I don't want to look. Oh my god. Be careful. Be careful. Oh boy. Oh, this is intense. Wow. How many times do I have to On the screen, the users can hear the sound, right? Yeah, yeah. No. Don't come. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, sound plays a big part in this game. Um, you're not really experiencing it here. Uh, she's totally crazy, this old woman. <laughs> yes. Uh, so all the things that she's saying is it's really creepy. So in a way, we can expect that the entire story is going to be um, sur surrounding this one household, oh, and we're trying to unravel something. That out is of a very well. scary. Yeah. So the, the uh, family is there. the family. They're called the Baker family. The Baker family. Uh, they're yes. key, they are definitely key to this story. Wah, 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 uh, wah, wah, wah. It's a big game, is all I can say. Wow. It's a big game. <laughs> oh. Woo. I'll feed you to my baby. No, I did it. The garden with what was left. How do you say? She's creepy. Oh, this is, this is very intensifying right here. Okay, well, it looks like she looks like she's given up. So you, let's go check out that garbage can. There you go. All right. So now we have a use for the stone tattoo. Something, yeah. Let's go back. Let's go back. Go back. And, uh, yeah. We got something to check out. A chip? Oh. I have a feeling like she's just going to If you pop stand out. here looking at the menu too long, she's going to come back, though. So, oh. so there is no. It's kind of weird. You got this weird stone thing. Let's go over here. Like, that looks like. That so looks going promising. to the menu is not actually going to pause the game. For you. No, it will not, yeah. And this is the. You so, know. one of the key elements to any Resident Evil game is puzzle solving. Oh, absolutely. Puzzle? And it comes uh, you know, people like to get a little break puzzle. from the combat, it's a little a break from the exploration, and do a little puzzle it. here. So, this is a light puzzle here, right. uh, depending oh. on who you are. <laughs> can be difficult for some people. Of course, of course. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, look at oh, that. Look almost at there. That. Almost got it. Spider. Almost got it. Uh, 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 there you go. Just there, there very oh. nice. nice. Is there a likely chance that while you are doing something like this, Ooh. that you will be get found? Yeah, uh, I, uh, I'm not gonna say too much. If you uh, if you uh, wait around too long, though, yeah, it's not a it's not a very healthy thing to do. I don't want to go. What? Yeah. The shadow is so clear, and you can see like how you look, and it's yeah. like, even more freakier. So I was saying, yeah, you're you're a woman Woo. now. Uh, one of the key features about this game is that it is uh, first person perspective. So we put a ton Nani of work into the, the character's Nani. hands. The character's hands tell the story. So they tell about their emotion, about no. their physical state and things like that. So if you get attacked, you get all kinds of damage on your hands or uh, things like that. The very you can actually see the damage inflict on you. That's, yeah, that's exactly right. We wow. use a very complicated motion capture uh, technology to get like this very precise hand movement. So this is all acted out as well. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Wow, amazing. Oh, go back, 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 go yeah. It's, it's a little difficult when you're not oh listening. If you were God. listening, you could hear her coming. So we put a lot of effort into the sound. Uh, very uh, complex, the 3D sound design. We also used a lot of Foley sound. I don't know if you're familiar with Foley, which you use for like uh, uh, movie, uh, movie filming, where you don't synthesize all the sounds. You actually have like a real sound, like a guy in the studio like punching a cabbage. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. There. All right, you got it. Yeah. Kyoko's, Kyoko's got it. You should let Kyoko play. You should let Kyoko play. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go forward. What? Like, it looks like I'm looking at the screen, but I'm actually looking at the camera because you guys are giving me all of this joy. Like, like you could, you could do it. You don't like want to look directly at the screen. Yeah, that's pretty much the reason It's your peripheral vision. <laughs> so in a sense, in this time uh, around, there's oh, more I emphasis to stealth. Uh, uh, just in this area, uh, stealth is not necessarily like a key component to the game. Where is I see it. Go, 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 turn around, turn around, turn around. Go back, go there. Go, 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 go. Go 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 down 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 okay okay oh no 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 don't stand up don't stand up miss miss I made a mistake sorry I I think this takes up more of our energy than it does when we're running thank God this is not like so we did a lot of location shooting too to get a lot of the like textures and things like that and as you know any house in America has a bunch of crap underneath the porch. Uh, so this is what? a pretty good representation of that. I think, I think you should rush. What? 
But yeah, they did actually go to like America's deep south and you know take tons Whoa. of photography and things oh, like that in order to reflect yeah. that in the game. I don't, I don't, I don't like. Uh -oh. What? What? Oh no! No! Uh -oh. <laughs> I tell you, why you guys are completely immersive. We're gonna have to move on to the next part. We're gonna leave this for the guys who are okay. actually here at Tokyo Game Show to actually enjoy for themselves. Uh, if you wait we for five seconds, oh, five, five seconds, seconds, five yeah, seconds, just, just five seconds, <laughs> five seconds. Sorry, I was look, look, okay, look, look, <laughs> look. No, I, I Oh, no. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, there is no escape. There is no escape. There is no escape. <laughs> yeah, but there's a really great uh, scene after that, but we'll take a look at it in a, yes, in a video absolutely. in a second. Yeah. Yes. All right, then. Good job. So, you made it through. Yeah, oh, good job. Yeah. You didn't survive, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, short presentation from James on sure. the Resident Evil series, Resident Evil 7 right here. We actually do have some slides ready. Sure, yeah. So we're just going to go uh, do a rundown of this as well. So Resident Evil 7 is going to be... Let's take, yeah, let's take a look at some of the central yeah, themes the central from Resident Evil 7. For Resident Evil, yeah. So we saw... Uh, just a short uh, demonstration here, which was the hide and seek, the, the fear of being chased. But Resident Evil of course, contains uh, basically four main themes. Let's take a look at the first one. Right. So first is the fear of unknown. Fear of unknown. Right. In the classic Resident Evil, you would like open up the door. The door would open, like for loading. And it's like, what's beyond the door? Right. Right. So they kind of like wait. Which is one of the most uh, core essential key points that started from the original Resident Evil. Right. Yeah. It's, a, it's a, basically a core fear. So right. we play a lot on this fear, like what's there in the darkness? You know, what's beyond that door? Just like what she was going underneath the porch, like what's in front of you, right. you don't know. And so we use that a lot to make a very terrifying experience. OK, OK, cool. And the next one is exploration. Yeah, of course. So any key thing for a Resident Evil game is to uh, you know, explore, in this case, a obviously, big man, uh, plantation mansion. Uh, and you're basically, you're not so powerful. Right. You need to find a way, as we say, survival horror, find a way just, to survive. And it was just uh, a little while ago, there would be some puzzle components as right, well. Right, exactly, and yeah. And having to go through and finding out the story of, uh, on your own. Right, exactly. Find the key items, find the, the basic essentials to try to somehow Absolutely. make your way through. And then there is combat. Yeah, there, there is, is also there's definitely a big difference between uh, other horror games and Resident Evil is, of course, combat. Of course. Combat is a very key component to Resident Evil. Uh, the fact that you can... Uh, stave off your enemies. You can stave off your foes somehow. Again, that survival horror mechanic. So combat right, is pretty right. big, and we're going to be showing way more about combat uh, in the future. In the there will definitely future. be more combat, yes. Yeah. And we also have the survival horror. Right. So element. what I mean by this is uh, what we were talking about, those themes, and also item management. Item management. Like, you don't yeah. get a ton of bullets. You don't get, like, huge... Yeah. You know, you're not a tank. Well, you have to conserve. Yeah, exactly. Bullets. So you, you need to figure out, use your head to try to figure out how to make it through this very dangerous situation. Absolutely. So these are four key components to uh, past Resident Evil games, and they're definitely here Going in Resident back Evil to the 7. the basic elements of right. what Biohazard is, yeah. Resident Evil is, but then. Right. And so it's all to support the horror the theme of the yes. game, yeah. So we have a little more information. Yeah, so let's on Resident take a look Evil? at some information right, we have then. to share. Um, so the beginning hour tre uh, teaser demo that we played the other day, mm -hmm. right. which has been available on uh, PlayStation for only PlayStation Plus users since uh, June from E3, is available to all PlayStation users now. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're not a member of PlayStation Plus, you can go and download it now for free. It's a great uh, experience to give you a, a peek into the atmosphere of a Resident Evil 7. Wow. So check it out now, worldwide. Absolutely fantastic. Uh -huh. I think we got uh, one more. Oh, thing we just to do. got one more? Yeah. All right, then. Yeah, so oh, wow, the other day that. they announced a PlayStation 4 Pro, uh, which is kind of like a super version of the PlayStation 4. So uh, Resident Evil, as I said, supports 1080p, 60 frames a second, very high spec game on the PlayStation 4. On the PlayStation 4 Pro, we support 4K, 4K. at 60 frames a second, and also HDR lighting. Uh, so if you want for a really premium experience, uh, really fantastic experience, the Just Pro is the way. Just down what is the HDR? So HDR is high dynamic range lighting, okay. uh, which is possible in very uh, recent uh, 4K televisions. Oh, um, for example, yeah. if you look at a really bright light with your eye, no matter how bright the light is, you can see the source of the light. Uh, but in uh, games, for example, 1080p, the, it kind of blurs out. Mm. You lose the detail. You lose the colors. And when you, you look at something in uh, HDR, you see something that's very akin to what you see with your eye. So if you got the, if you got the dough, that's the way to go. <laughs> what do you say, Kyoko? What do you say, Choco Blanca? Do you want to see that in 4K and also HDR? Sure. Yeah, even more realistic. <laughs> yeah, oh, with earphones too. That'd be like perfect. <laughs> yeah, so uh, just to recap then, yeah, Resident Evil 7 is coming out on the PlayStation 4, uh, supporting the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, Pro uh, PlayStation Pro VR. Well. You can play the entire game in VR. Also, wow. Xbox One and PC. Ooh. So uh, it's coming out next year. 
I think that's the next slide. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So yes, like you yeah. said, it's January. So if you're right. anywhere but Japan, it comes out on January 24th. January 7th. And in Japan, it's coming out on 26th because uh, right. Japanese people like Thursday. <laughs> like to buy their game on Thursday. Exactly. Yeah, that is yeah. the real reason. Yeah. Thursday, yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Thursday, buy games. Gamers Skip school, yeah. Skip school. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kyoka Toko, how did you enjoy that? It was scary, but it was fun. <laughs> like, I couldn't see most of the visuals, but just by watching this, I can tell that the hardcore people will love it. They should definitely try putting the earphones on. I mean, this, to me, for a Resident Evil hardcore fan, is amazing and awesome. Especially what you said with now the, the quality is going to be even more better. Like, even more, like, quality is yeah, Very realistic, though. yeah. Very immersive, I think, yeah. They're, they, they're topping that. So you guys should definitely check it out. And I think Chokoshi Show enjoyed it too. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Resident Evil is so scared. And I don't like a horror game, but <laughs> I want to play Resident Evil. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah that's that fine like line that we try to walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. Like. Yeah, not well, that's too scary. Just well, scary enough to be fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. We actually only have uh, just about. We're just about done with this program. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end this whole thing uh -huh. with a new trailer. That's correct. Yeah, that oh. we have ready for us. Today. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, so we're gonna wow, go ahead and put that trailer. up. New trailer. Can I say something before we do this? Oh yes, absolutely. Oh no! Look at the time. We want to play more, <laughs> but our time is up. Oh no! We have to do it again, huh? Yeah, we have to. Come on, it's Game Stream of Terror. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. guys, we're going to leave it on that note. Thank you very much for watching this whole program. And we're going to be back on tomorrow from 11 o'clock. It is Tokyo Livestream Hut. Uh, sorry, Tokyo Takamo Livestream Hut. And we'll be back with more guests and more programs to watch. So 11 o'clock, Japan Standard Time. Please come back tomorrow. And Tokyo Game Show will be still hot. That's correct, hot, yeah. Hot, hot. Literally hot, yeah. Hi, I'm already burning. I'm on fire. Yeah. Thank you very much. And we're going to go ahead and leave you guys with this final... Let's check it out. Let's check, check it out. out. Trailer. Right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. And Sean, sleepyhead, it's time for supper. Who oh, oh, are you people? <laughs> Edith, it's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. <laughs> Lucas! <laughs> Get out the way, Marguerite. Hit boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. He's not eating it, Jack. He's not eating it. Shut the hell up, Marguerite. I made that for him. Get the hell out of here. You're a son of a bitch. Oh, I can't believe it. He's a son of a bitch. He's not eating it. He's not eating it. This was supposed to be a very special feast. Come on, boy. Welcome to the family, son.